Good morning. It's Tuesday and we are back together again. I hope you're doing great. Um, we are having a wonderful morning so far. Um, yeah, I, how are you guys doing? What's going on? Uh, let's see. Hmm. Nobody's on yet. I think I might be a minute early, but maybe I'll just wait a minute or two. Oh, there is somebody. <laughs> Yes. Okay. I have someone with me now. So yes, we're doing great today. Um, let's see. Yesterday we watched the episode from season five, Men Will Be Boys. How did everybody like it? I love this episode. It's so funny. Um, I think it's interesting how everything that Charles and Jonathan thought was going to happen did not happen and how they were sure that those boys were going to turn around and they didn't and you know it makes me think like my kids are pretty capable kids and they surprise me all the time and I I will say the last couple weeks having them home all the time doing school and um just being with them they surprise me. They are more grown up than I realize that they are. And so that was a fun episode to watch yesterday. Um, my son would still like to never go back to high school. <laughs> I thought that maybe he would like start missing school, but um, that's not the case. He is loving online school. He just would like to do this forever. My daughter, on the other hand, is just ready to go back to school and see her friends and hang out and all that. So, um, but yeah, that was yesterday. Um, how did everybody like watching or uh, hearing, watching and hearing Dean read from Farmer Boy? <clears throat> that was so fun. I loved it. I know that many of you or all of you are probably listening to Allison read the books and what a treat yesterday to hear Dean. He's just so enthusiastic. I love it. You can tell that um, he's an actor. He's an actor just reading a sentence. He's an actor. It's so cool. But anyway, so I really enjoyed that. <clears throat> and um, yeah, before we move on to season six, I thought I would do maybe another little show and tell. And <clears throat> I don't think I've ever done it. I don't think I've ever shared this, <clears throat> excuse me, on a video before. But this is my Little House on the Prairie book. And then Brenda and I each got one of these. Um, got one of these when the show ended. And everybody signed um, in the book. Not everybody, but a lot of people signed in the book. And, you know, um, I'm just going to read a couple of these remarks because I think you guys will probably get a kick out of them. Now, some of them I can't read. I can't even make them out. And others I totally can. So I'll read the ones that um, I can make out. Hope to see you again sometime, Jonathan Gilbert. That's cool. Let's see. To Wendy, it's been fun being your pretend brother. Love, Matt. That's Matt Laberto, Albert. Um, much love, Dean Butler, Almanzo. <clears throat> um, Wendy, you're a sweetheart, Merlin Olson. That's um, Jonathan um, Garvey. Let's see. To Wendy, you are my best girl, and I have two bests. Love, Karen Grassley. That's Ma. Um, Wendy, you're my favorite sister. Love, Melissa G. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, maybe she's just me feel good when I was little. Um, to Wendy, keep being a great kid and keep smiling. Love ya, Jason. That's Jason Bateman. Um, <clears throat> to Wendy, to the other... Sweetest girl, hope to see you soon, Marion Fife. Marion Fife was was our um, 
government appointed school teacher, social worker, kind of. Um, Dear Wendy, you and Brenda are the sweetest baby grace on the prairie. Love, Kath McGregor, Miss Solson. And there's a couple others. Wendy, I love you very much. Be good and smile. Julie, I have no idea who that is. Um, of course, I've got a big M Landon on here. I don't know if you can see it right there. M Landon. Um, and there's the little, the one from Melissa Gobert. You're my favorite sister. Love Melissa G. So, you know, sometimes I see this book and when I'm in events and people bring this book up to the table and they want me to sign it. And I think, oh my goodness, I have that exact book at home and I have all these signatures, like the signatures that you guys want us to sign. And it just reminds me that we just, we just are all like, I'm the same as you. I am a fan, just like you're a fan. I'm a fan of all these people. And I can't believe that I got to be part of this great show. It's just so cool. But anyway. Um, let's see, we are moving on to season six today and let's see my season six booklet. We're going to look through this one back to school is always fun. Annabelle. I love that one. Uh, author author is a fun one. Cross connection with the telephone is always fun. There's so many great episodes in here. Um, let's see. Oh, we make them proud. So sad. That one just breaks my heart. It's so hard to even watch. I don't think we'll be doing that one today. <laughs> oh, and then we've got when Laura and Almanzo fall in love. Oh my goodness. Okay, Sweet 16, that's a great one. Uh, I think we're going to have to do He Loves Me, He Loves Me Not. <gasps> it's a two-parter. And this is when Almanzo asks Laura to be his wife and then all those things happen and Percival comes to town and we have to do this one because, well, I love this, this episode. It's a two-parter, so we get double, double for the buck today. And my kids love this episode, so I'm sure that my kids will watch with me. They think that Percival is the best character in all of Little House on the Prairie. And so the egg scene, like they just cannot get enough of it. So he loves me. He loves me not. That's what we're doing today. I hope you enjoy it. And yes, have fun today. Um, you know, this, he loves me, he loves me not. It's all about love and being patient or not being patient. As far as Percival and Nellie are concerned, they just, they went right to it. What are you going to do for love today? I don't know. So, all right. There's our assignment. He loves me. He loves me not. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.